In a frozen wasteland a wagon carrying an orc prisoner reaches a black tower. The tower serves as a massive prison for criminals of mythical species. The orc is transported to a cell with two humans. Edgen Darvis and Hulga Kilgore where he immediately reveals his bad intentions towards his first woman's cellmate but she responds by breaking his legs. The next day both are doing some prison labor in the cold. Edgen is singing optimistic about their imminent pardon hearing since their friend Jonathan will be part of the council deciding their fate. However a few hours later the hearing begins with their friend nowhere to be seen, Edgar jokingly tries to delay the procedure but with no success. So reluctantly he begins to plead his case by recounting his past. He describes how he was once a devoted member of the Harper faction. A group of spies committed to fighting evil. But due to his involvement in numerous conflicts including with the infamous Red Wizards, his enemies targeted his wife, resulting in her tragic death. The loss shattered Edgen, who turned away from his oaths to the Brotherhood of Spies, and became a drunk. Struggling with grief and a young child Kara. Halda and exile herself for falling in love with the wrong person met Edgen at rock bottom, and the two formed a partnership of sorts. Together they turned to a life of crime to sustain their makeshift family. Even adding Simon Omar and Forge Fitzwilliam to the gang. But their lives took a different turn when they crossed paths with a witch named Safina. She convinced them to rob Corin's keep. Edgen's old faction's headquarters, bargaining riches beyond their imagination, along with a powerful artifact that could bring Edgen's wife back from the dead. At some point during the heist, the guards are alerted. And Edgen with Holger get caught in a time-freezing spell cast by Safina while the rest get away. In a last attempt effort Edgen handed over the item of resurrection to Forge imploring to take care of Kara. As Edgen finishes telling his story, Jonathan a bird-like creature finally arrives at the council. Without wasting a second, Hulga and Edgen rush him outside the nearest window, forcing him to fly and break them out of prison. After stealing a couple of horses and riding back home looking for Kira, Forge and the artifact. Hulga and Edgen quickly discover that Forge using the money they stole from Corin's keep to fund a lavish campaign has become mayor to a nearby town called Neverwinter. Traveling there, the two reunites with Kara and their old friend, who works with Safina and is enjoying a spoiled lifestyle. Edgen requests to take his daughter home but Forge has turned Kara against him. It turns out that unaware of the artifact that can resurrect her mom, Kara believes that Edgen betrayed the Brotherhood. And he attempted the heist just for the money. Frustrated and confused she storms out, while Hulda and Edgen get trapped to the ground by Selina's magic. Following that, Forge reveals that he has been playing them from the start, and orders their execution before heading out in preparation of the Roman games. In the nick of time, however Hulga manages to disarm the guards. Then two escape, and decide to find their old mate Simon. With the aim of gathering a team, and launching a raid on Forge's castle, skinning his vault, and rescuing Kira. The young wizard was quickly found by Edgen and Hulga, who was performing tricks while robbing his unimpressed audience. Upon noticing Edgen and Hulga, his concentration breaks revealing the Khan. Using gravity magic Simon escapes the mob and joins the old friends on their quest. While discussing the heavily guarded keep and the unknown magical protection surrounding the vault. Simon mentions knowing of a druid, whose transformation abilities might prove useful for sneaking into the castle. Not long after the team finds the druid Doric, smashing soldiers like ants. Before transforming into her human form and rescuing a woman that was about to be executed, Olga, Simon, and Edgen eventually catch up and invite her to join them on their journey. Mistrust of both humans and the group's abilities, Doric has a personal vendetta against Forge, due to her race being enslaved and imprisoned during his rule. So she agrees to share her talents. Safina reports to a shadowy presence in the corner of her quarters revealing that she is part of the Red Wizard's evil faction and on behalf of her master is manipulating Forge for a greater scheme. Their conversation is interrupted as Forge himself enters the room. Oblivious to the ominous presence, he invites her to join him as he tours gambling lords to the castle. Having reached the vault, Safina mentions the name of its protective spell in an effort to impress the wealthy visitors. Suddenly Safina alerts everyone's attention to a fly in the surrounding area, which she attacks. The fly who is droik, transforms into a rat, a hawk, and then a deer. She barely escaped the compound and report back to the team. Simon believes that the protective spell is almost unbreakable. Even if he possessed the legendary helmet of disjunction, which can disable enchantments in its proximity, he would still lack the power to use it effectively. However since Olga has a clue on its location, and this is their only chance, 
they decide to make the attempt. At the same time Safina confides in another member of her evil faction that Forge remains under their control. She then gives the destination of the motley crew before directing her ally to murder them, as well as Forge's soldiers who witness their meeting. Back to the party traveling along Olga's lead. They pass through her barbarian village. Olga reconnects with her former love interest, and the reunion reinforces Olga's resolve. Afterward the group reaches the battlefield where the helm had been sighted. And Simon uses his magic to communicate with the last warriors to see. It having gone through the testimonies of several. They find out that the artifact was last claimed by an immortal paladin named Zenkandar. Few days later they meet the paladin, who was saving kids and donating to the poor. After hearing of the Red Wizard's involvement in their troubles, he agrees to provide them with the artifact. Under the condition of distributing Forge's wealth among the people of Neverwinter. Zenk then guides them to the location where he concealed the helm. The underground ruins of the city of Chestia. The group retrieves the helm using portals, but they soon become the target of the assassins dispatched by the Red Wizard. Zink overpowers them at first. However the assassins turn out to be a new kind of undead, even the paladin can't deal with. So he urges the others to escape, but shortly thereafter the fat dragon Thembershot emerges. Devours the assassins, and pursues the group nearly consuming Edgen, who gets heroically saved by the paladin. The team eventually gets cornered in a flooding cavern, with the head of the dragon blocking the only exit. Edgen devises a plan that combines the dragon's breath in Simon's magic, to create an explosion in the cave which enables them to escape and reach the surface. The paladin bids farewell to them. And Simon starts trying to utilize the helmet. Suddenly he gets transported to another dimension, where he is confronted by a distant ancestor. Despite multiple attempts over the course of several hours, the spirit disapproves of Simon's character, thereby rejecting him as a user. In the face of this failure, the team almost breaks up. But Edgen manages to win them back over by being honest and tactful. Noting his commitment to the mission, and confessing that his greed is what actually caused his wife's death. Shortly after they devise a new plan that involves utilizing the Staff of Teleportation. The Staff works basically as a portal maker and by attaching a portal to a painting heading to the vault. They attempt to make it in this way, the portrait unluckily falls face down on the floor, as a result blocking their entrance. Edging Relentless reminds Simon of being at his best at their most desperate, urging the team to try Plan A again and trust in Simon that he can use the helm when needed. Moments later the group attempt to divert the attention of the castle's gate guards, which works just enough for them to gain entry. But the entire keep has now been alerted, forcing the team to split up. While Halga engaged in a fight with a large portion of the guard, Simon made his way to the vault. There he strives to reason with his ancestor once more. But this time he starts with a punch, finally gaining access to the artifact's powers and using it to defeat the remaining soldiers and unlock the vault. As Halda and Simon make their way into the vault which is surprisingly empty, black tentacles suddenly emerge from the ground trapping them. Meanwhile Droik follows a couple of soldiers suspiciously carrying treasures aboard a ship and got captured. Edgen who has been searching for his daughter is also tricked by Safina, who is posing as Kira and he got captured as well. The team then finds itself in the brutal games Forge has been planning, which are basically Colosseum fights. In the arena Doric informs the others that she saw guards taking the vault's riches to a boat, indicating that Forge planned to steal from the lords gambling and attending. The group then competes with other prisoners in a maze of death. The labyrinth contains traps and rotating walls filled with predators, and monsters, treasures, and safe spots in the labyrinth give most a fighting chance. But our heroes take an unconventional approach following one of the rotating walls beneath the arena. Next they track down Forge's stolen riches, and Kara who Forge holds hostage at knife point. Halga throws a potato at Forge's face, which miraculously causes him to release Kara. Edgen is finally able to reunite with his daughter. And Simon uses his gravity magic to create a huge wave that floods the whole port. Red Wizard's master plan is finally unveiled as powerful spell with a vast radius. That would transform everyone within the Colosseum into obedient puppets. Despite being on a path to escape our heroes become aware of the imminent danger deciding to turn the ship around and return to Neverwinter to stop Safina. And while she succeeds in capturing the richest members of the audience, portal to all of Forge's wealth aboard a balloon in close proximity to the Colosseum serves as a magnet, drawing the entire crowd out of the arena, thereby also leading them out of the spell's range. Safina Furious unleashes a meteor storm on the group, but Simon counters it by casting his own protection spell. 
immediately after she animates a dragon statue and controls it to assault the team. But Droic lands a successful long-range hit, disrupting her spell casting. She then proceeds to almost overwhelm Simon in a wizard duel, but he persists. And together with the rest of the squad combining their skills, finally forces her to use her time-stopping spell. Overconfident and boasting about her imminent victory. Safina is caught off guard when Kira utilizes a medallion to turn invisible and place a magic suppressing cuff on her. Doric then transforms into her monster owl bear form and relentlessly beats Safina before finally hurling her into a wall that shatters from the impact. But the celebrations of victory are cut short by the realization that Holga has been fatally injured during the fight. As Kira mourns her passing, Ejin takes it upon himself to use the Tablet of Reawakening to resurrect Holga instead of his wife. The group along with the townspeople comes together to celebrate victory and watch magical fireworks. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.